it's Stacy. So I am filming in my closet. <laughs> and if you remember back when I first started making videos, I filmed every single video in my closet. It wasn't this one because we didn't have a house then. We were um we were in our apartment. But I filmed every video in our apartment in my closet and I loved it. For some reason, it was like a little safe haven. You know, it's like it's like you're in a small spot. It's like you're enclosed and I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. Um <laughs> I know that sounds weird. But yeah, so I wanted to make a video and just kind of um I feel like my camera's falling. I can't really see very well because um, I've got the light on on the camera, so I can't really see too well. So I'm gonna lean down like this. So I, um, ah, ah, okay, whatever. I'll just sit like this. Okay, so um, yeah, I wanted to make a video and just kind of chit chat with y'all and tell y'all, um. I know I'm, oh my gosh, y'all, I totally filmed a whole video, a coffee vlog today, um, when I was on my way to get, um, coffee, and <laughs> then, uh, my husband called while I was filming it, and so it just, for some reason, it stopped filming and didn't save the videos. I was like, ah, oh, really? Um, so yeah, speaking of coffee, I'm drinking some, a pumpkin spice latte right now, because, y'all... I have been, like, ugh, I feel like y'all can't see me. Hang on. Let me make sure the camera's not moving. Okay. I feel like, oh my gosh, a walking zombie. Like, seriously. And no, I'm not pregnant, okay? Because I know a lot of people think, oh, she's tired. She's totally pregnant. Um, no. Y'all would totally know. But I'm not pregnant. Um, I have been, like, a walking zombie since Sunday morning. Now, y'all know... Um, that I am an early bird. Like, I used to wake up at, like, I don't know, five, six, four in the morning because my husband, he gets up early. So, I would just wake up early, too, and get up and start, you know, my day. But, um, yeah, and then I got into this really good routine, and then I would go to bed, like, really early, and I'm not even kidding. I'm talking, like, eight o'clock at night. <laughs> like, it was, but it was because my husband, uh, Joseph, he would have to be at work at like, which he still does, at like 5 a.m. And then he would work until 3.30. And he wakes up in the middle of the night at like midnight. So by the time he gets home, he had been up for like 19 hours. So he would go to bed literally at like 7, like seriously. Because he was so tired. He had been up for like 20 hours. So I would just go to bed with him. Well, I got on this really good schedule where I would get up at like 8 o'clock in the morning, do whatever... Then between one and three or two and four, I would take a nap. Well, then I would be energized, so I would stay up till anywhere from 10 to 12 at night. And I'd go to bed and I'd start all over, get up at eight, and you know, it was a really good routine. Well, then Sunday, this past Sunday, today's Tuesday, oh my gosh, I woke up and like I literally could not even open my eyes. I was so tired. So, I ended up laying, like, I got up and did my chores, like, that I, my daily chores that I do, I call them chores, um, and then I got right back in the bed, and I slept, like, until lunch, and then at lunch, I got up and ate, and I was like, okay, hopefully after I eat, I will be, you know, <laughs> feeling better and energized and whatever, uh, no, I got right back in the bed, then same thing, after dinner, I went to bed, and this happened yesterday, and half of today like I don't know what is going on if y'all have any suggestions please let me know um I'm healthy all my like I just had a bunch of test results and things um within the past couple months um and everything's normal all my thyroid you know all my, my levels and stuff is good so it's nothing like wrong with me but if y'all have any suggestions like seriously please let me know because I don't like being tired all the time it's seriously my biggest pet peeve um, okay, that's not true. It's not my biggest hope, <laughs> but I don't like it. Um, okay, so I know I made a video updating y'all on the Beach Body Challenge that will end on September 28th. Today is the, oh, and yesterday was my parents' 20, I'm sorry, 35th wedding anniversary, which is so 
cute. They are so cute and so in love still. 35 years. I just adore them. Oh my gosh. I feel so blessed to have such amazing parents in my life. Like, you don't even know how blessed I feel. Very blessed. I thank God literally every morning and night for them. So, yay! Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, let's talk about what's been going on because I haven't, I didn't have a chance to really, I didn't go into detail updating y'all when I made my last video updating you about the beach body challenge. All I really said is that, um, my weight had been fluctuating between, I think it's like 166 and 169, um, which is still current, which is still true. But, okay, so last week was, a, I would say, a not a good week eating-wise. And that was the, I'm not even kidding you, that was the first time I've had an off week. I can't even remember the last time, like seriously. Um, and I'll tell you why. Last week was so hectic. It was just insane. Like, my mom had her surgery on Wednesday for her stomach. Um, so, I was up at the hospital on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. And so, I ate hospital food, which you kind of just make the best choices you can and hope for the best. But, um, I was drinking coffee like crazy. So, I was, the hospital was kind of far away. Um... And I was, there was like a little, it was a really nice hospital, but um, they had like this coffee stand in the lobby and um, I was just chugging coffee like nobody's business. I would go to Dunkin' Donuts at 5 a.m. on my way to, actually one morning it was like, yeah, it was 5 a.m. before I went to the hospital and then I would have a coffee when I got there. Then I would have a coffee while I was there and then I have a coffee at night. My eating got, was just bad. I was not eating correctly. Um... And then one day, I had a ton of coffee, and then I had, um, like, I ate dinner with my dad in the cafeteria at the hospital, and I had, like, fish and macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes, which, like I said, I do eat, you know, pretty much what I want as long as it fits into my calories. That did not fit into my calories um, because, I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure because um, I hadn't really been logging my calories and stuff because I had just been you know, really focused on my mother, and at the same time, my uncle, uh, my mom's brother, he was in the hospital last week, too, with double pneumonia, and, like, all of his arteries were clogged, and I don't know, he had, like, a couple surgeries. Um, we're not very close with them, um, not for any reason, it's just that, like, we, I hadn't seen him in 13 years until I went up to the hospital, um, I think it was Tuesday before my mom had her surgery on Wednesday. So, yeah, um, so, yeah, anyways, I had a lot of coffee that day, too, because I had a frantic call from my grandmother, my mom, mom, who I'm super close to, is my mom's mom, so, I mean, oh, it was just crazy, y'all, so, I, I don't even know, like, if I went over my calories, if I went under, I don't even know, all I know is, it was, like, the other morning, <clears throat> I weighed, it, or yesterday, I'm sorry, was it yesterday? yesterday I weighed in at 171.2. I was highly disappointed with that. I mean beyond disappointed with that. Okay I'm not gonna lie and say beyond disappointed because uh, I don't know. I was I was disappointed in myself. Um, so what I did is today I have counted every single calorie that's gone into my body like I've been doing since January. Um, and what was that yesterday? Wait, it was the day before yesterday because this morning I weighed in at 169.4. So I was really happy. I know that sounds crazy that I lost, what, 1.8 pounds overnight, but whatever it is what it is. And I was so happy to be back into the 160s because I haven't seen a 1 and a 7 in so long. I feel like it's been so long ever since I hit the 160s. So I was a little disappointed to see that. But, um, I'm telling y'all, um, I'm back on track. I felt like I needed to make, like, a confession. I don't know. I just feel like that because I feel like if I'm not being 100% honest and letting you know the whole journey, I don't feel like you get the whole picture. You know, it's just, it seems like 
so easy like if you don't tell the whole picture um and it's not it is not that easy to to lose you know 35 pounds or for some people 100 pounds or you know whatever it is you're trying to lose it's not easy um but if you if you <coughs> excuse me if you eat correctly and you do make smart choices it's it's not hard so i don't know i just really felt like i needed to make a confessional it's not like i went crazy and was like eating bad food or eating late at night or got off track it's just that hectic week didn't count calories weight went up about a pound and um now it's back down to the 160s now i have four pounds to lose before my beach body challenge update and i want to do that um now am i going to do that by any means no i'm going to do if it happens it happens i'm not going to lower my calories drastically just so i can get to that number absolutely not um, but speaking of calories, um, my fitness pal lowered my calories from 1500 to 1350. Um, I didn't even realize it until a couple days ago. And I guess it's because once I went down, once I went down to 165, um, you know, you have to lower your calories to continue losing. So, um, so yeah, um, my calories are lowered. So I am eating a little bit less and that is a little bit of adjustment. I know it's only 150 calories but you know that is a little bit of an adjustment so um yeah that's what's going on right now i'm gonna you know keep on like i've been doing um counting my calories and um you know just getting my exercise in and things like that so that is how i'm doing um i'm still like i said i still lost pant sizes and i'm still wearing those same pants um I mean, I didn't, like, gain, I, I don't know. All I know is I'm still doing fabulous. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, I just wanted to give y'all, I wanted to sit down, give y'all a le real update on how I've been doing. So, I hope this helped you. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you get, take something from it. And I hope you'll have a great night. And I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.